Just a lot quicker to... Oh, man. It's also a lot quicker if you don't fall off. All right, let's jump through some windows and climb some more bookshelves. I'll see you guys back at the spot. What's up, everybody? Badass Games. Welcome back to Tomb Raider 2. Today, we're in the Opera House, which is a very difficult level to get through without using a med pack. Uh, by the way, uh, that's going to be a little bit more easier since I don't have to use pistols or since we're doing pistols, no pistol run. Uh, there's one guy down below me that's really hard to kill if you jump down there and try to pull yourself out. Because while you're trying to pull yourself out of the water, he's going to be shooting at you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my grenade launcher. And then I'm going to go down this thing this direction. And then as soon as I see him, pop one off and blow him up. Uh, he drops some automatic ammo. So make sure that you pull yourself out to grab those before you continue on. Let's grab those things, and then let's go in this direction. This is the way we want to go next. We basically need to, meet, uh, need to make our way back to where we started from, but in the way, we're going to pull a switch, which is going to open up a door for us to grab a key that we need. All right, so let's go over to this ladder in the water, and we can pull ourselves up. To this point right here, we're going to need to move over to the right in order to get to the next ladder. What we're going to want to do here is just fall off basically and then just do a standing jump over to here to pull ourselves up. You can use the ladder if you want, but it's really hard to jump and make it inside of this little section that I'm at right now. Here's a lever that we need to pull. It's going to drop the trap door over there. we got to run and jump over to get inside of that thing. Um, and we're going to go do that here right now as soon as we get over there. Okay, so to get back to the top, let's just do a standing jump over to the ladder and then jump off backwards to make it to the top here. Now turn around and run and jump and aim for the center of these two windows because that puts you, that lines you up perfectly to make a running jump over to this ledge right here. Now let's go ahead and pull up and we need to aim ourselves over here to the left. Avoid that box because it does do a lot of damage by the way. We need to aim ourselves over here to this section. I'm going to grab my shotgun because there's going to be a guy down in there that uh, has a bat. Well, I'm going to use this thing on him. Two shots is usually good enough to take care of them. Sometimes it takes uh -huh. three. Over here is an ornate key. We're going to need that key, so make sure you grab it. Okay, let's go up these steps now. There's going to be another guy coming out from the door. I'm going to use my automatics on him. As soon as he comes out, just blow him away. He drops a small med pack. Let's grab that thing and then uh -huh. head on out of here. Once again, this area should look familiar. We'll do the same thing we did to get back to the top. There's the switch that I just pulled. Do the same thing all the way back to the box that's swinging. The swinging box. And then pull yourself up, and now we're gonna head over here. This is where I entered. This is where I entered the level from, from right here. Alright, we're aiming for this ledge right here, and then jump over to this ledge here. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to jump off backwards and grab the ledge so we can shimmy over to the left. And we're going to go through this windowsill, fall off and grab, and then pull yourself up. Uh, now you can shoot the window out with whatever gun you want, or you can jump through it. Be careful though, because there is glass, and if you overshoot, you will kill yourself. Alright, so make sure you be very careful while you're trying to jump and break some windows in this section with the glass around. It's an instant death if you jump into the glass. You can walk through it though, which is a good thing. I'm glad they put that in the game. Alright, so over here is a ladder we need to pull ourselves up. On the other side of that little building I was down in, down there, there's a couple more windows on the other side. All they do is lead down into the water that we were in before. Alright, it's kind of dark back here, so I'll light a flare for you. Let's put a key in the keyhole, the ornate key that we just got. And clearly open this door right here for us. And then we'll move on into this section over here. Okay, now we gotta do some run and jumps. Alright, we gotta run and jump across all this stuff. What you wanna do is you wanna aim to the right, do a normal running jump, and then count three steps. One, two, three, run and jump, then count to five. One, two, three, four, five, and then run and jump over here. And you will find the ledge you need to pull yourself up. We're about to enter the opera house. We're about there. Alright, let's pull out the automatics again because we gotta deal with a gunman. He's on top of this roof in this other section. Looks like I, uh,. May or may not have had a lock on him. I don't know where he's at, but he's running around like a madman right by now, I can tell. I want him to come back around here. See, he his problem is, is that he does a lot of damage. 
He has potential to do a lot of damage, and I don't want to take any damage away from him. I don't even know where he's at. Alright, well, he's up there shooting forward, so... He's down. I was- I actually wasn't paying attention. I was watching my life to see if he was taking any way. Okay, as soon as we run and jump over here to where he was at, two dogs and a guy with a bat spawn, so be careful. The guy with the bat's gonna come straight at you. He's gonna come up on top of this thing and everything. Alright, so we've dealt with everybody. There's two more guys that we still need to take care of. They are on the other side of this building, though, and they both have guns, so we gotta be very careful if we don't want to lose any life. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and try to ping them so that way they will come around the corner and then I'm gonna do my ambush strategy. I'm actually gonna blow one up with the grenade launcher because, uh, yeah, I lose my weapons in the next level. I lose all of them and I'm pretty sure I will have to use the pistols at some point in time. In the next level at the very least. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand right here. Usually the guys are on that side of the this little dome area, okay, and they'll come running around the entire thing to come get you. So, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to make sure that they are on their way for one thing, which it doesn't seem like that, and for another thing, they don't see me to the point where they'll start shooting at me. Alright, well, if they're not on their way now, then, oh, there they are. Okay, I'll just blow him up. He got a couple shots off on me, but that's fine. Let's see, there's another one running around back here. Let's pull out the shotgun. Alright, now I'll do my ambush thing. Here he comes. And he's down, and I have I haven't lost very much life at all, so I'm happy about that. I am very uh -huh. excited. So he dropped some shotgun shells. This other guy dropped a small med pack. Let's grab all that stuff before we continue on. Uh -huh. Now there is a set, there is a shortcut you could take for the rest of the level, but you will miss, I believe, some secrets maybe, and potentially um, some items or whatever. Um, is this it? I don't think this is it right here. This is it. Okay, down there you see the third secret. That's awesome. I'm actually going to save my game right now in case, uh, well, just so I can show you how to get down in there. Oh, I just loaded my game. <laughs> I'm good at that. All right, guys. Well, I will see you back at the spot and, uh, yeah. All right, guys. I'm finally back at the spot. I, um, saved just recently, so we're good to go. I can show you this little shortcut finally. What you want to do is you want to come all the way close to this wall right here and turn around and then tap backwards and hold the action button. She'll slide on in and you'll be able to pick up the uh, Uzi clips that are right uh -huh. here in the third secret and go and you'll be able to actually open this door if you approach it. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a switch in this area to open the door. It doesn't really matter if I lose life right now. But right here's a switch. You can use this to get access to the opera house. So that's a nice little shortcut, um, but I think you missed some stuff. So um, yeah, well, there you go. I'll go ahead and reload my game and we'll do this the normal way. Okay, so if you're not interested in the shortcut, that's fine. There is an actual real way you're supposed to go, and we're going to take that way. There's actually two shortcuts, if you really want to know about that. I'll show you the other one in a little bit, too, when we get inside the opera house. But for now, what we want to do is we want to go over here to this box that's swinging, and we want to get all the way to the corner of this tile and then aim for the ledge that's to the left of the swinging box. Pull yourself up, light a flare, because it's kind of dark down in here. And the only thing that's back here is this button that's going to open a trapdoor and let us in, but it also spawns two guys. And you can see one guy right there, and also the second guy is on top of the building, and you can uh, notice that he has a gun. He's a ranged guy. So I don't want to I don't want to jump out of here while he's facing me. I don't want him to see me, because otherwise he'll shoot me. And that's what I'm looking for right now, is for him to kind of turn around. It usually takes a little second, because he is kind of slow, but I don't want him to get any shots off on me. That guy that's down below with the stick, he's trying to find his way to you right now, but he can't get to you. I don't think that guy's gonna move. So I'm just gonna go. Whatever. Alright, so here's the guy with the stick. I'm gonna take out my shotgun and blow him away real quick. Before he gets to me. And then I'm gonna take out my Uzis and go after that guy on top of the building. Because we're getting all the kills, remember? All the kills. Not just some of them. Alright, so here we go. Missed some shots there early. Ah, uh, he didn't get a single shot off on me, so... Uh -huh. But he drops some stuff. All the people in this entire area drop stuff, except for the guy that just spawned with a bat down here that I killed. He doesn't drop anything. He's a total loser, so don't worry about that. Okay, now in this section, you'll see two levers. This lever here on the right side doesn't do anything, because you need this item right here. But you can pull it for now. That way when you bring the item, it'll already be pulled. You don't have to worry about it. But you do want to pull this lever right here. It's going to open the gate and let you out of here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of here. 
Now, as you run down here, you'll notice there's a switch right here. We want to push this switch. It's going to shut that door that we just came out of. Okay, now be careful because there is a boulder trap right here. And if you go too far down in that direction, then it will roll and might possibly kill you if you don't know about it. So be careful. Alright, so now I'm going to jump on this ladder and pull myself back up. Okay, now that the door is shut, we can use it to climb into the next section of the opera house. So that's what I'm going to do now. Alright, now that we're here, let's go ahead and fall out of here. Let's be safe because that sandbag right there will kill you instantly if you fall out of this the wrong way. Alright, let's get the shotgun out. Actually, I'm going to get out my grenade launcher. I know I'm using this a lot, but I lose my weapons in the next level, so I might as well use what I can. The reason why is because this guy's going to come around the corner and try to shoot me. I'm just going to blow him away real quick and pick up a small uh -huh. medpack. Now let's take out the shotgun and go across the other side of the room because there's a couple of kills that we need over there. And um, they're pretty quick, so we got to be nice and quick with a shotgun. Okay, here they come. There's a dog, and then there's a shooter coming out too. Okay, once he's dealt with, I don't believe he drops anything either. He's kind of a cheapskate like that. Uh, what we want to do now is we want to run and jump over to this section right here. Now what I did is I did something special. I made sure that I dangled over a certain tile so that way the doors down below will open. And that tile is just the one that's catacorner directly in front of me right now. The, the tile directly down below where the guy's on. Yeah, basically that's where I wanted to... Uh, but I wanted to spawn those guys so I can shoot them up with my guns from up here. Now be careful because there's a guy with a gun across the way. You can see him. And he might see you and start shooting at you. If he does that, you need to get out of there. I haven't had an issue with it, so... But from here, I'm going to shoot these guys up. Where's the dog at? Alright, looks like that guy with the gun up there is uh, moseying around now, so... Alright, so we dealt with all these people. This guy dropped a large med pack. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now what we need to do is we need to get across the stage. Never mind that guy that's on that second balcony for now. We'll take care of him later. But for now we want to go across the stage. And then we want to go in here real quick. Be careful of the sandbags that'll drop on you because they will kill you in one hit. And there's a sandbag right there too that I was actually kind of afraid of just a second ago. But I came in here to get rid of these two guys mm -hmm. with bats so that I can pick up their, their large med packs. And also there's a dog on the stage over here that we need to take care of. Always, always, always watch out for those sandbags. You can always look up to see where they're at if you need to get a reference as to where the heck they are. Because you don't want them smashing you. Now, there's a guy that spawned across the way as well. We'll take care of him too, but we'll do it later. For now, we're going to come into this section of the stage and pull this lever. Alright, this is going to open up that trap door on the other side of the stage and let us climb up to the top, which is what we need to do. Okay, so there shouldn't be any more sandbags that fall. I've got three down so far. There's a fourth one in this room. I'll show you. It's coming up here in a second. But you shouldn't need to worry about it if you jump the right direction. Alright. Over here is the sandbag. You can see it dangling right there. Well, don't worry about it. What you want to do is you want to run and jump. Well, let's get a better lineup over here. From this tile, I suppose. You run, run and jump to the left of that sandbag. And then it won't fall and you won't get hurt. It might fall, but that's only if you hover over the tile that triggers it. Okay, pull ourselves up and pull this lever. This is going to drop the bridge there where I was just at. So that way you can get across this thing. Alright, so this is the bridge that dropped with the switch. Now we're heading over to this platform. We're going to get up to the top of this room. You know, it's pretty interesting. We're climbing to the top of the stage area, so that way we can dive underneath the stage. That's pretty much what we're doing right now. <laughs> we're doing all this, so that way we can release a sandbag that's going to fall through the floor on the stage and open up a new way for us. Alright, here's a rat. We can't use pistols, though. Gotta use the automatics. Sorry, guy. And now a swinging sandbag. Just simply wait for it to swing to the other side and then jump. And this, this sandbag right here is very easy to dodge. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this lever. This is going to drop that sandbag and create a hole in the floor of the stage that we're going to need to dive through. If you time it perfectly, you can dive directly into the water. And it's very dark down here, so make sure you light a flare or turn up the brightness on your TV if you're out of flares. You know, that sort of thing. 
Alright, so from here there are two ways you can go. You can dive into the water and go that direction, or you can walk in this direction. This is the way we want to go first, because the other way is the exit. This way is going to give us a secret and an item, or a switch that we need to pull. The item that I just mentioned is actually in another section. Okay, as soon as you enter this room, you'll see this little cubby where you can swim. And down in here is the first secret, the stone dragon. Unfortunately, by picking up the stone dragon, it chimes and it gets rid of the awesome music that was just playing. And yeah, it kind of sucks. Anyway, as soon as you come out of the secret, or if you don't care about the secret, it'll be to the left as you enter this area. There's a switch that we need to pull. It's going to open up a door. We were near that door before. We're going to go back that way. That's our return path from here is what it is. Okay, so we're going to go there right now as soon as I find my other direction. Oh, my flare's giving out. Good thing I've got plenty, though. I've been picking them up like crazy. Alright, let's dive underneath the water. Pull ourselves up right here. There's the item that we need for some other part. This does not go uh -huh. in the entrance to the opera house, okay? Remember I was showing you that there's something that needed to go there? This does not go there. This goes somewhere else. We're going to take it there. Right now, in fact. Alright, so pull ourselves to the top. Be mindful of the gunman that you have running around right now. We have a guy on this on one of these balconies that is running around. Um, let me get rid of this flare's case. You know what I'm saying? And there's also a guy down below. Fortunately, he's he might be too far or low to even get some shots off. And by now, I'm too high up for the guy that's on the second deck to be shooting at me. So, we're good to go. We want to head over here to this first direction where I blew up that guy when I first entered here. Uh, take out some weaponry because we're going to fight some dogs that are come gunning at you. All right, fortunately, they take three to four shots with the automatics, and they're done for. This is where the relay box goes. This is what we needed it for, okay? We put the relay box in here, and then we can use this elevator. All right, now, in order to use the elevator, it's kind of awkward. you got to push the button on the outside to let the elevator know what floor you want. Then it'll open, and then you can go inside of there and go down. Now, the thing is, I don't want to go in there just yet, because I want that gold dragon. All right? The gold dragon is right up in here. If you remember, before I entered the Opera House, I showed you a shortcut. Well, this is the this is where you can actually come up and get this secret without taking that shortcut. Uh -huh. Okay. And now notice that there is a switch. This whole thing is meant to get you back to the elevator so we can get back on it. Okay. Because from here, I can't get back on the elevator. I could probably go back out the same way I came and fell down and fall back down to the switch. That seems a little more tedious. I might as well come over here and pick up these uh -huh. Uzi clips and just go through this door and then just hug this corner, hug around here to get back to the elevator. Seems to be the easiest, maybe not the quickest. And here we go. Okay, the elevator's still gone, so we need to push the button to let it know what floor we uh, are on, I guess. And then wait for this thing to rise back up. And in fact, you can pull it again while it's on its way up. As soon as it shows up here, the door will open, let you in there, and then it will automatically go down. So we might as well just have it set up and ready to go when it gets here. I lied to you. Actually, this button um, <laughs> um, will apparently cause force the elevator to go whichever direction it's pointed in. So if it's down, it goes down, regardless if it's on its way up or not. The more you know. Something I didn't experiment while, with while I was practicing. Alright, so, elevator finally at the top. We need to push the button. Okay, take, just take a hop back and turn and then walk in. Alright, now what we need to do is blow some people up again. Three shots left in my grenade launcher. And these are the last, I only need to blow up two people. So hopefully I have one left over in case I miss. But we'll see, right? First guy that I'm going to take out is over here on the right. Oh no! There he goes. Alright, they're both gone. I actually took more damage than I expected. But that's fine. Uh, one of these guys dropped some shotgun uh -huh. shells. Make sure you grab that. And then there's also this lever. The whole reason why we came down here. Actually, the other guy also dropped shotgun shells. You pull this lever. Alright. And then I believe it's going to take the uh, elevator back up uh -huh. to the top. And reveal what's going on down below underneath the elevator and some water you can jump in. Let's light a flare. And now what we're going to do from here is we want to kind of follow these steps around to the left. This is going to take us up to this item right up here. This is the item that we need for the entrance to the opera house. Okay, this is some uh -huh. sort of circuit board or whatever. 
in the water. I don't understand how it still works. It should be shorted out or something. But hey, Tomb Raider logic, right? I was grab that thing, and now let's go back the way we came. Instead of going all the way back, we want to head over in this direction. It's kind of an open area. There's some stuff you can explore, but there's nothing to grab. So don't worry about that. What you want to do is find this lever, pull it, and then this gate's going to open. And now we can begin our ascent back to the top. All right, so here's a rat. I'll make sure I got my automatics selected. There we go. And now let's make our way up to the top. There's a couple of rats that are going to spawn on your way up there. And in fact, there's a guy up here with a gun, so be careful. Okay, he w he's going to continue uh, with his patrol. Oh, maybe. I'm going to grab my shotgun and blow him away as soon as he turns a corner like I've been doing. Okay, so there is another guy shooting at me. And that's that second guy up on the balcony up there. Uh, that's fine. I'm actually taking more damage than I expected, to be completely honest. So, um, and I should still be able to get through this. That guy with the gun is up over there. We'll do that. He's actually the guy that's on that second tier. We'll take care of him on our way back. We want to go this direction, though, first. Because we need to begin, begin our box puzzle. Some windows you can jump through, because you're awesome. And then down below is where we need to go. Alright, so you might as well jump through this window right here because we need to move this box eventually. So this window needs to be broken. And we're going to move this box out here, and you'll see why. You'll see why when we get there. Alright, the only thing that you can do right now in this area is pull this lever to open this door. And we can go into the ventilation. Slide down, but before you hit the fan at the bottom jump, you should be able to land directly near this key. Okay, it's another ornate key. And now, we just want to jump over to this right here and slide down. Alright, now in memory of my old Tomb Raider 2 walkthrough, we're going to try, we're going to try to get a uh, second chance at this rat. I believe they are immune to grenades, though. Nope, not this time. Not this time around. Alright, I'm completely out of grenade ammo, so make sure I have another weapon selected in case I try to draw my pistols again. Alright, so now that we know absolutely with... With the fact that rats are not immune to grenades, I just got completely unlucky. Alright, here we go. So what we want to do to get through this dark area is you just want to step backwards all the way, okay? So that way you are you can't walk backwards any further. And just do a standing jump, do the same thing here to avoid these fans, because those fans will kill you pretty quickly. Alright. Let's jump up here. We're going to get the, the Jade Dragon. This is going to be the last secret of the level. Be very careful as you approach this thing, because it is very, very close to that fan pick it up, you get a bunch of Uzi ammo for this level once you have all the secrets. And that's useful. Alright, jump and grab in the air so you don't hit your head and you'll slide right on into this section. And now we have a box we need to move. Behind this box there is a switch we need to press. And you can see the door over there. You can see the miscoloration that defines the door. That's the door that's going to open. We can push this box out of this area. And back into the area where we came from. Okay. So you might be able to see what's going on if you don't if you haven't played this before, you might be able to understand what I'm trying to do, maybe. I want to push this box out into that room. And then I'm going to push the other box on top of this box. And that's going to give us access to the top where we came from. And you're probably wondering, well, why do I want access to where I came from? Well, because now we have the ornate key that we came here to grab. We can leave. But we can't leave until we get the boxes in the right spot. If you remember, we took a long fall to get down into this room. But we need to get these boxes lined up so that way we can climb that high distance again. Alright, so I gotta push this box twice. And then it should be on top. Now while you were down there, a guy with a bat decided to start walking around upstairs. So we do have to worry about him, and also we need to worry about the guy with the gun on the second floor or whatever. As soon as we get out, out of here. Alright, so let's grab the, I don't know, automatics. We only got 16 shots. Let's grab the uh, Uzis. Because Uzis are fun, and we got plenty of ammo for that. Not that it matters, like I, I keep saying, I lose my ammo, and I lose my weapons and all my ammo in the next level. Alright, ooh, I didn't want to fall off, but... There we go, he's taken care of. He was adequately sprayed. 
He doesn't drop anything though. It seems like a lot of these bat guys don't drop stuff. There's like one or two gunmen that don't too, so. Alright, let's make our way out of here. Be mindful of enemies just in case. And now we need to fight this guy right up going on that's going on right here. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run and jump over here on the right side of the wall because he's gonna get minimal view on me. There he is. Light him up. He drops some automatic ammo. Uh -huh. Now if you're going for kills, you're gonna need to turn around because there's a rat that spawned. Let's get out our automatics. Use some of the ammo I just got. There's a rat that spawned back in this direction. Okay. Make sure that I, uh, it's down there. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I have the right level. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fall off this thing. Oh, and break my neck? Are you kidding me? Alright, well, I will see you guys back at this spot. Alright guys, I'm sort of back at this spot. I kind of want to show you the sequence over again. Um, I'm basically running and jumping on the right side of this wall, so that way this guy can't see me, doesn't look, look work very well. Get a couple shots off on me. I did take a lot less life coming through this time because those guys down below didn't uh -huh. get very many shots off on me. So I do have a little bit more life this time around. And, um, yeah, that rat down here, okay, so... <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I guess, what I'm trying to do is get on this ledge right here. I wanted to jump and grab in the air to slide, so that way I can shoot him out. He took three shots from the automax just now. That's fine because, like I keep saying, I lose my weapons in the next level, so it doesn't matter, and I may end up having to use pistols anyway. Okay, so this guy dropped magnum ammo. I I made sure I picked that up. By the way, on the way here, oh, I had to do a lot of stuff, so all the way back from when I saved to show you the secret, or show you the shortcut, so... um. Oh, by the way, there was another shortcut I was going to show you. I don't know if... I think I may have passed it up. Anyway, over here is the ornate key where it goes. We're going to put it in that hole. There is still one guy down below walking around with a gun, so be mindful of that. Oh, and there he is shooting me up. Oh, wow, he's getting a lot of shots off on me. So I was not mindful of that. When I come into this room, there's that boulder trap I was trying to mention. I press this button again, okay, if you can guess it's probably going to move that door once again and in fact it did so that way we can get back into this section to place this circuit board that we recently claimed all right so that way once we have the circuit board in there all right this is what this the combination of this circuit board and that switch next to it opens the backdrop on the stage now we, there's some stuff back there we can access and that's what we're going to go do so let's fall out of here the same way we did. We don't need to switch the door again because we have a new door that we opened just a second ago right here. Uh, let's not forget about the guy down below that's going to shoot at us. So where is he? He's down He's down there. There he is, right below me. Now there was a guy that spawned earlier across the stage on the other side. He was wearing black and he was a shooter. Um, sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't spawn. I haven't figured out how to make him spawn earlier, but eventually he does spawn. You may have to fight him this time now, or you may have to fight him, um, earlier in the level. I've already killed him. I didn't pick up what he dropped because I wanted to show you what he dropped. And, um, so that's what I've, those are, that's a little bit of things that are different between then and now. All right, so what I'm trying to do now is, uh, get rid of the guys that are on the stage. There's only one other shooter besides the guy in black that I killed earlier. Okay. So here we go. Let's pick up the stuff. This is the Uzi uh -huh. clips from the guy that I killed earlier that was wearing black, and this guy drops some shotgun shells. Uh -huh. Alright, so let's grab all that stuff. Now be careful because there are a couple new sandbags now that the backdrop is out of the way that will fall on you and kill you instantly. What you want to do is approach the door real quick. It'll cause one of them to fall and you don't have to worry about it, but it also spawns like three dudes. Or maybe you have to break the plane into this room. Or not three dudes, but two dudes with a bat and uh... A dog. And I'm almost out of automatic ammo, what do you know? Awesome. Okay, so these guys drop uh -huh. stuff. I believe only, actually only one of them drops the small med pack. But that's it. Okay, so let's go back in here. This uh, whole area is pretty empty, with the exception of some switches and stuff that we're gonna throw. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is, um, there's no items to pick up in here. Alright, it's just this box right here is the only thing that you can interact with. We need to pull this out because it's going to reveal a switch that's going to drop the backdrop. We just raised it, I know, and we want to drop it now that we're on the other side of it, okay? Because there's a platform on the backdrop that we can use to access, but right now it's too high, okay? It's way too high. We need to bring that down real quick using this switch. And down it goes. 
Okay, same sound it made when it went up, too, actually. Alright, let's climb to the top of these boxes, because this is going to take us to that platform that I was mentioning as part of the, the backdrop. Right here. Okay. Uh, be careful of the sandbags. And over here is the exit, or part of the exit. Now, the shortcut that I was going to show you before, uh, I didn't show it to you because uh, I forgot, basically. But there is, uh, up there is where I entered. You can see the sandbag, and you can see the gates and everything. You can come over on this side of the thing, and then you can jump to this ledge right here. It's a very, very tricky jump. It's very difficult to you to do. I can only do it maybe once out of every ten tries or something. So, if you miss, keep trying. You will eventually make it. Alright, now what we want to do is fall down into here. Okay, there's a switch right up here that we want to pull. And that's going to open the door directly if in front of us, but also spawns a guy, I think it spawns a guy, or something else spawns a guy down below that we're going to want to kill. He only, he's only carrying a bat. So I'm going to take out my, uh... Oh no. Just die! Oh, she's about to pull her pistols out. I can't use the pistols. I'm actually taking a lot more damage than I wanted to do. I always seem to do that when I, uh, record. Because now I think, uh, I may actually die. But that all depends on how the the next series of events happens. How the next series of events unfolds. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is i got to make this jump, but there's a sandbag swinging back and forth trying to prevent me from making this jump. So uh, time yourself. What I do is I time myself for the bag to start swinging back the way that I pretty much don't want it to be going, but right now. And you'll miss it. Fall down in here. I almost got hit by that box. Take out the Uzis because now we gotta fight a little boss, a little mini boss. He's pretty tough. Oh, I gotta get rid of some of these dogs first, though. There's a dog over there. there he is. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Now, where's the guy with the big guns? He's right there. He's coming down over here. I'm gonna try to stay behind him. I don't wanna go too far into this room because if you do that, you will spawn some other guys. And we don't want to spawn anybody else. We got this guy to worry about. So he's running away like a coward, apparently. So just stay behind him. That's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to stay as much behind him as I possibly can. He takes a lot of shots. There, he's finally dead. But he also drops a bunch of grenade ammo. So let's grab that. We got a couple more guys we need to fight. We might as well use the grenade launcher because we don't have a whole lot of life, for one thing. And, yeah, we're not- we're gonna lose our weapons here in the next level, so you might as well use your strongest weapons. We need to go to the back here because there's gonna be another guy that spawns. I don't know where the heck he's at. I hear him, but that's- doesn't mean much. There he is. And now he's dead. He drops small med pack and some Uzi clips. So let's uh -huh. grab those. There is one more guy that we still need to kill, okay? I'm actually no longer worried about getting through this without a med pack because I've pretty much already done it. There's only one other guy, but he doesn't spawn yet. We need to pull- a, well, we need to press a button to let us out of this level, and that's what we're gonna go do. And that is what's gonna spawn that guy. As long as I don't fall off. I thought for a second there I was gonna fall off for sure. But that didn't seem to be the case. So now we're making our way back on top of these boxes. Back toward where we entered. Oh no, make it! Man, I'm so close to missing these jumps. And here's the button, and there you can see the entrance over there, where I came from. Let's press this button, that's going to open the door to the ex level exit. Also, it's going to spawn a gunman, so be mindful of that. Take, just walk around with your grenade launcher, ready to go. He drops some Uzi ammo. And that, my friend, is the end of the Opera House. So in order to exit the level, all we gotta do is walk out here and into this level. And I've always thought, uh, this, I never actually understood exactly where I was at when I was out here. I just always went straight to the thing, but you can see the city in the backdrop and everything, and uh, it's just really cool looking out here. Alright, so break the plane to the plane, and you will end the level.
not quite the same now, is it? Someday you will get a speeding ticket for the ton, Fabio. Hey, it's just a gut feeling that um, may be. You are wrong to look there. Is your belief so fragile? Gut, Fabio. It's no more direction than a simple through and out. Honest, perhaps, but not entirely. When my father left when I was a boy, he confided to me that he was in light. Echoed by something greater than impulse. He possessed the seraph. But he was just a disciple in this design. His death, plotting a path to be sought by the one. His son. You understand? Have faith, Fabio. Not God, Rod. We are searching the right place. I know it. I believe it, Marco. Good. Heroes, have you fixed that rail yet? Well, I don't know why the audio gave out, but that's all he said was C and knocked her upside the head. Okay, that is the end of the Opera House. I've got 54 kills. Remember now, the uh, I forgot to mention that the grenade launcher actually gives you two kills every single time you kill somebody with a grenade. So there's actually a total of 46 kills in this level. Found all the secrets, didn't use a health pack. I'm Badass Games, and I'll see you guys at the offshore rig. Take it easy.